Hey, look who joined me for the Avengers Infinity War. You guys remember Marissa Roberto? What's up? What's up? What's going on? We do need to say right now that it's 2 in the morning. 2 a.m. Okay, we That's just got out of this Lord of the Rings-esque <laughs> <laughs> cinematic experience. It was like all three of the Lord of the Rings movies in one movie, wasn't it? <laughs> it, was, it, was a lo- it was a long one. Uh, there was a lot to get through, I guess. So They had so many actors. In this yes. movie, so many characters. Now, I remember when C-3PO explained all the stories of Star Wars <laughs> to the Ewoks, and he was doing all the sound effects in Return of the Jedi? Yes. <laughs> yes. I want you to do that now with Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? There were a couple of times I looked over at you, I'm like, who the F is that guy? <laughs> this is a movie where tons and tons of, of characters that we've seen in other movies are brought back for the right reasons. Mm. This is, of course, Thanos achieving or trying to achieve his goal of collecting all the Infinity Stones for his gauntlet so that he can do very, very awful and bad things. And it's one hellaciously incredible, amazing, visually, like, you cannot believe what you're seeing scene after another until the very, from the beginning to the end of the movie. Yeah, and Josh Brolin, my God, like he really made me feel things that I didn't really want to feel for him at all as that character. Like he really took me places and and I don't, especially with these movies, like there's just too many things going on that you can't really attach to any one character. But somehow they pulled this off. They pulled off something that DC unfortunately has not been able to pull off thus far with all of these characters together in one place. Which is incredible, and it's only because we've been along for the ride with all of these characters for so long that they can flash on screen for a few minutes, sometimes a few seconds. They give you a character beat or a funny quip or something, and you're right there. You're not lost. You're not like trying to, you know, piece it all together. And it's just unbelievable filmmaking. Which starts with a great script because they really had to kind of edit and edit and edit and find the right tone and the yeah. right sort of collection of characters. Oh yeah, no, the script is fantastic. Yep. My God, how many times did we laugh we were out loud? Killing ourselves, yes. Killing ourselves yeah. in this movie. So it passed that six laugh test, yeah. or whatever it is that you need for a comedy. Like this movie is a comedy. It is an action movie. It is that superhero movie that you're looking for. But and I hate, I hate saying that because I feel like we're seeing so many superhero movies. Yeah. Like when is enough enough? But this clearly just brings <laughs> everyone back in for more. There, I don't. I don't know if there's ever been as much movie in a movie before. I. You know oh, what I'm saying? Geez. This was the most movie ever. The most movie. I. Like there was so yeah. much movie, it's like I feel like I owe them another cost of my ticket. Okay, well we can just relax on but that. But no, like honestly, right? like I, like it was just like here's another movie for you. Go for it. <laughs> there's one more movie. You're gonna have. We're gonna stag eight movies on one on one yeah. ticket. It yeah. Was, it was crazy. Wow. You're right about Thanos. Like he's an amazing villain, and yeah. that's been kind of the weak point of a lot of the Marvel movies is they haven't really been able to nail it. And Thanos has been this cloud that we don't really know too much about. It's all paid off big time, and Josh Brolin is amazing as this character. And the and the effects, which I was worried about in, yeah. the, in some of the trailers, they really come together. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm trying to think of one character that I maybe wasn't into as much. Every single character pulled me in, except for, I guess, Cap. I wasn't really into Cap as much this time around, maybe because of the, the beard. I don't know. Something's throwing me off with Cap. They used him a little sparingly yeah. for the importance that the character holds yeah. you know um, but I think it's okay because we know that there's another part to this it's mm-hmm. not like everything is answered mm-hmm. there is a tremendous amount of value in just seeing this movie but yeah. we know that there's more to come and so it's, it's all been pretty clearly kind of announced that uh, you know a second movie in this Avengers anthology is coming next year so well right that's the thing is that I don't know if this spoils anything but they really do leave us with a a cliffhanger like we like we know there's more to come so they left us wanting more which is great but at the same time it's like you're in there you're sitting in this Lord of the Rings experience and you want you don't want the second and third movie you just want it to be one contained thing that you can just walk home and feel good about it's a two and a half hour movie but you still want more which I think is kind of the sign of a great piece of movie making you know okay. I, I mean it's it didn't leave me unsatisfied but okay. I want more you okay. know like no, I I was really impressed with how all of this stuff came together that's fair we went into an 11 p.m. showing yeah uh, it's 2 a.m. now yep. um, I did I thought I was gonna nod off for a second there oh wow in the theater only because of how late it is yes but it still kept me kept me entertained and I and I normally not off at these times it, it, I, it's so. it's astounding I mean I, I 
I can't believe what these Russo brothers yeah. are capable of. And the visual effects teams, holy Oh my God. Sh like honestly. So good. Ridiculously talented people that pulled it, the impossible together and made us kind of yeah. believe. It does put a smile on my face. There's just something so special about this, and you can believe all the hype. Everybody tweeting about this thing, like, you, you, you can believe it. It really is that good. You definitely should be spending your money on this. I yep. mean, they, these guys make a lot of money, and I think it's for a reason, so. It's an incredible movie. Yeah. It's, it isn't the full story, though. There's no. more to come, and I guess that's the only thing, is that there we well, gotta wait, and I, that wait yeah. is gonna kill me. But I'm going to see this again tomorrow. Oh my God, <laughs> Victor Lucas! I, I freaking love this Re movie. Okay, you I, need to relax. I can't. Okay. I can't wait to see this again. What are you gonna give Avengers: Infinity War? It gets a solid 9.5. Gets a 10 from me. <laughs> Surprise. All right, so you'll come and join me tomorrow with the other screening. Um, I have to catch a very early flight, but I'm with you in spirit. Okay. <laughs> Rachel, okay. All right. Well, until we clink microphones Aww, again, my friend. This is fun. Thanks so much for having me back, guys. I miss this girl. <laughs> I miss you too.